good afternoon dear students today we are going to discuss product development process now before we begin this i would like to first uh, want to clarify certain concepts that uh, what is product what is product development what is productivity then we will discuss that what is the product development process now uh, the few things that are important is that uh, why we are designing the product how it is important uh, what is new product design what is the need of the new product design what is the product development strategy what is the consumer behavior pattern why the consumer behavior pattern is necessary and what is the product life cycle that product life cycle we will discuss in the later classes right so uh, now one of the basic fundamental concept is that why we are uh, studying the product development process right now in india if we see that there are lot of manufacturing hubs we do a lot of manufacturing we do a lot of assembling of the products but where we lack we lack in the design we are not the best designers and in india we can say that we are the manufacturing hub but as far as the design is concerned we stand nowhere so our focus is to become a good designer to be at the global level designer so that's why this subject is very important now what is the product development process it is a set of activities beginning with the perception of the market opportunity and ending in the production sales and delivery of the product right now uh, we say that what are the characteristic of a successful product now we are talking about the product and product what is that product right product is anything which we start doing the manufacturing and then we have certain input we do the processing and we get the desired output now input is in the form of the material input is in the form of the money uh, machine right so all this what we do we buy raw material that is our input we do the processing on different machines and we get the desired output that output is known as the product so our product is uh, our product is to satisfy the customer need it should be robust and reliable robust means that it should be durable and reliable is that it is having that life if you see on a product every product you will find that there is a date of manufacture and there is a end date so if the product successfully runs throughout that we say that this product is reliable then price to customer this is one of the key factor of the successful product development if suppose we have manufactured any product and it is having a very high cost then the thing is that who is going to buy that product now here comes that uh, who is going to uh, who is going to capture the market that means if we have designed for the low scale people or medium scale or high scale so that basically tells the consumer behavior that's why we later discuss about the consumer behavior then the market share then uh, product quality after that it comes the product cost product cost includes your manufacturing cost profit for sales volume at particular sales price and optimization problem so optimizing we are basically trying to optimize that how we are going to reduce the cost of the raw material we are going to reduce the processing cost we are going to reduce in the team optimization is basically we are not sacrificing for the quality and for the um, quality and the function we are only sacrificing in terms of that how we optimize the raw material that means quality is at par mark there is no sacrifice in the quality now the other things are the development time how long the team takes to complete the development effort uh, we can take an example that if suppose anything we are going to manufacture for the summer season so our main effort is that before the summer comes we are able to produce it and launch in the summer similarly if suppose we are having anything for the winter or anything which is having uh, the seasonal effect festive effect so the team works on it that the product uh, that the product completes within that limit time limit right then development cost how much was spent to develop the product see basically the main aim is to maximize the profit 
no company is running that uh, uh, we invest much and we get less right if we are not getting the profit then our business is in the loss then we have the development capability organizational learning ability how the firm can develop products more effectively and economically in the future other performance measure are see what we have discussed is one of the key factor performance right we should uh, see all in account and irrespective of it we have to see that uh, what are the other factors performance measures that can impact on the product development process that we can uh, see later then the need of the product design right we are saying that every organization has to design to develop and introduce the new products for the survival and growth strategy now it comes at what is the need right company always doing research and development innovation startup activities generates new idea in order to increase their market share or in order to have a firm uh, firm competition in the market to withstand in the market now we uh, can take an example suppose you are sitting in a room and i'll ask you to identify the different things so you identify that there is a lamp in the room there is a fan in the room the tube light is there the bed is there so the different things is there so in my perception these things are there and if i'll ask you uh, dear students that what are the different things according to you you have uh, you count the other different things then what will happen if i'll ask you that in this room now try to rearrange the things so if suppose i am connecting to 50 students and i'll ask you to make a model in which you model out your room that how it is designed so in that way everyone's thinking is different so we can say that there are the 50 idea generation right so in that way there are lot and lot of ideas now the company has to see that what ideas comes in reality because in uh, ground level or in actual terms uh, i can say through the various papers through the various studies that if suppose hundreds of ideas are generated then out of that ideas only two ideas get approved so that means you see the rate of the failure that 98 ideas get rejected due to any of the reason due to Uh, the lack of the money suppose uh, you have designed a room in such a way that it is costing very much or you designed uh, certain other aspects that are not actually feasible right so there are a lot of reasons in which we can say that the ideas are not going to run so uh, what are the need for product design organizations are required to design a product if suppose the company is already having a product and it comes to a level that now uh, there is a kind of the average profit there is no extra profit gaining then what the company will do it will try to innovate certain things it will try to remodify the things as you see the uh, example of the iphone now you see that every year the iphone is launching its new version with certain new features and that according to that features the people are waiting for the launch of the iphone the people are ready to buy every year there are many class of people who every year buy the iphone or the different versions of the car you can see the different versions uh, you can take an example of uh, the television earlier in ages you have the black and white television then the color tv comes then lcd comes then led comes then smart tv comes right so uh, this is the continuous research and development going on and which leads to the increase in the innovation right so that means uh, if suppose organization wants to be at par it wants to hold the market then it has to design the product or within that product it has to enhance certain features to that product to be in business for the long time that we have already discussed to satisfy unfulfilled needs of the customer now many times the company is designing the product for the company's perception right now company what the company do in order to fulfill the customer's need uh, the company makes a primary survey the company make the different questionnaires they'll ask about the in the survey that what is the product what 
is the special thing you are liking to that product and the different persons will fill that questionnaire form and then the research and development takes place and the companies come to a conclusion that okay the color of the particular thing is not good the function is not good and accordingly they work on it and uh, modify the product right now too much competition in the existing production line now if you take an example of the television we have given that if you see the sony is making the uh, television the samsung the lg uh, now the mi is uh, also one of the player and there are a lot of local players also which are in this market so many of the customers they they take as per the specification that what they need but many of the customers if they have uh, the low range of price they go for the uh, normal customers or the low range customers right so we have to see that what are competitors and how we are going to exist in that production line then profit margin is on deadline if suppose the profit is not much now the company has to see that how it is going to increase the profit right 